Hey everybody, this is Impact with Let's Play Melon Journey Bittersweet Memories. We're here in the climax. Yeah, show that Jack that Jack Rabbit who's the real boy. Who said that? Honeydew? How on earth did you escape? Ah well, what's done is done. And you're still under my control. Now force the, these idiots to ingest melon isolate uh isolate nine number ninety-two. In your dreams, dude, or shut the hell up. This one. Shut the hell up! Haha! <laughs> she flipped them off! I, I. Yes. Hmm. Why isn't it working? You should be obeying my every command by now. Oh dear. I. I, I feel a bit strange. I'm beginning to tire of this tomfoolery. No, I'm beginning to tire of this tomfoolery, and now you're going to tell everyone the truth. The. The truth? Yes, I will do as you say. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Alright, sure. So the Kitten King won the election because of me. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? You think this old schmuck could have done it all on his own? I'm the one who taught him how to grow melons. And how to proliferate them through the town to get everyone hooked on. Hooked. Haha! -ha! Of course, I first had the brain to brainwash the Kitten King so he'd go along with my plan. And I'll brainwash anyone else who gets in my way. Soon, I'll have total control of all melon production on this continent. And then it won't be long before I'm in control of the government. And then the whole world! <laughs> my throat's dying. Oh, I'm dying. Cooper back dying. You know what? I, I, some, somebody clip... Clipper flipping them off. Clipper. Send it. Full send. Clip it. I might just do that and then just send that out through the YouTube system. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Ugh, I can't think with this mask on. Mask? What? <gasps> Reginald? What the heck is that? That's the Mayor Hogwarts' son. Oh, that's the Mayor Hogwarts' son. Started paying attention. Start paying attention, man. Reginald? Do my eyes deceive me? Oh, it's starting to come together all right now. What is the meaning of this? That's none of your concern, old man. Old man? Why, that's no way to talk to your father. Now get off this stage right this second or no TV for a month. Oh, come on, Dad. I'm just trying to give a speech. You never listen to what I have to say. You're always so busy being mayor. And between that and your yo-yo practice, you never take make time for me. So I thought maybe if someone else was mayor for a change, then we could spend more time together. I guess I got a little bit carried away with all this, didn't I? Now that's quite a touching story. It almost brings a tear to my eye. I'm sorry I haven't been a good father to you, Hedginold. And I promise I'll make it up to you. After you get out of jail, take him away, boys! But, but Dad... Sorry, son, but brainwashing people and rigging elections is still against the law, no matter how good your intentions are. That's just the way the melon crumbles. Yo-yo trick, baby. <laughs> Pity clap. You'll pay for this, you'll all pay. Probably. Take that nerd to jail. Oh, it's happy. Oh, man. Honeydew is my new favorite character. Holy shit. We... Screw this Ataki fucking guy. He's stupid. What? Uh, Nico Nin, that guy, that character? I forget his name. Yeah, fuck that dude too. Um, who's another prolific character on this channel? <laughs> All these other characters? Yeah, no. Flush them. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake? She's dead to me. <laughs> I can say it. <laughs> Honeydew. Honeydew is the best character. And there you have it, folks. The end of the Hodgeworth family line, and the end of our rule over Hogtown. Perhaps we got what we was coming to us. <laughs> you didn't miss it. I think it's time we pass the torch on to another species. What do you say, Kitten King? As much as I love the residents of Hogtown, I feel I must step down as mayor. I've seen what happens to families torn apart by power and politics, and I have a daughter and a son-in-law to watch over. Dad. Oh shucks, I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. Hey guy, I think he's signaling for us to get up on stage. We did it, honeydew! 
The world is safe yet again. Thank you, thank you. Hey, isn't that cantaloupe over there? Oh shit, it's cantaloupe. Honeydew, you did it. We're probably not gonna have jobs anymore, but who cares about that? You saved the day. I'm sorry that I dragged you into this whole mess. I'm just so glad everything worked out in the end. Let's never something let let's never let something like this happen again, okay? Hearts. Hearts, 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 hearts. Now Shagger! Whoa! Mayor's son Heginald sentenced to four years community service. Oh god, Hamstar elected mayor by single right-in vote. I didn't get an achievement. That's how the story ends. Huh? Of course, I wouldn't be here today without the help of my friends. Hey! Are you done in there? Everyone's waiting. Happy art! <laughs> Just throw her coat off. <laughs> oh, it's the trench coat that we got earlier. Curtains closed. No, that's the regular ending. Froach Club. Developed by Froach Club. So this is the ending ending, not the secret one. So there's- oh god, there she is. Kitten Princess is a battle princess now. Don't you know those battle princess animes? They're the big popular thing these days. Killing everybody. Here's some really great names of really great people who work really hard on- Oh, he's friends! <laughs> I don't blame him. Yo, Ghost Buddy! You found your ghost! It's the Junior, but, you know, Ham Ghost Junior is better than nothing. He has his parents. I could have swore we did everything. Where would I have gone wrong that I didn't get the secret ending? Because all of the quests were complete. Oh yeah, Poppy Works worked on this. Grand opening! Oh! Cool! Excellent. Looks like Apple really never did get that culprit, and Bailey is still jobless. <laughs> ah, at least the siblings are getting along together. Lily, please, please, please try harder in the future, please. Look, a little Lily stamp at the bottom. I mean, what am I supposed- Oh my god, you two did it! You destroyed the police station with Molotov cocktails. Pop Star's bad! People love it! Works of Carl Mellon, huh? Hey, dude, he has all the money. <laughs> Literally all of the money. Good job, Mambo. They're in love, they're in love. Look at these two, they're gay as fuck. Good for them. Awesome. I'm glad that we tied in all the knots. That's her story symbol. Okay, so I just want to let you know your music got content claimed, Tommy Norris. I, I don't know why, but Sony Music was saying it was theirs. I, I just can't dispute that shit. Because I, I don't know the original track, it's in French. Popstar's theme was performed by Nick Sylvia. It was a good song. It was a good song. I, I I agree. The box art was by Hinano Haru. It's good box art. I don't have the physical version, but I know it exists. Marketing. Well, I mean, these guys did a good job. All of it. Oh, localized in Korean? Sweet. Yo. This, this does seem up the... Like, this is not meant to be offensive, but this does seem... Like that kind, could this, like a lot of Korean art styles would match this. Japan localization. Look at all these. Like it's in Japanese too. I didn't even know that. Additional sounds provided by SoundBible.com. See, uh, I don't know if a sound got picked up and was claimed. I know that that happens sometimes. Auto ID goes nuts. Freesound.org. I've heard of those guys too. When it comes to Sound Bible, it's not one that I would have used, but like freesound.org? Okay, yeah. Back when we did RPG Maker games, we would see shit from freesound.org all the time. Published by Marvelous USA and Xmead. Sorry, Xseed. 
It's an in-joke. Everybody goes ex knee from where I come from. Context, wink. Yay, localizations! I really do like the original Melon Journey, and I like this even more. My god, do I like this even more. I'm so glad- it was worth the wait! I'm glad that I'm alive to experience the game right now. Because there are plenty of times when Koo could have been dead. At least I got to live this far, and got to play Melon Journey 2. However, we're still not done with the Let's Play. I want the secret ending don't know how to get it. I did everything from what I can remember. What I know, I talked to everybody multiple times. We did so much. The playthrough is so packed full of all the stuff. I, I don't know what I missed. Do, 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 do. I know I'm talking over the really cool song, but the bet like most of the time... It's like, how do I put this? It's like, I need to put my thoughts out because we at least reached an ending. But I'm wondering what I need to do to get the secret ending. Junpei! Junpei Doi! John Wheeler! Director of production, huh? And you can see they got a lot of people to work on this game specifically. Like, like compared to the first one where they didn't have that many people working on the game, that's the kind of, like, thing you gotta realize. It's like, yeah, a lot of people worked on this compared to the indie, the very indie version of the original Melon Journey. Although it's, it was always iconic back in the day just because of the unique art and how the game was kind of, like, story, like, full story driven. No, no battles, no nothing. It was made in RPG Maker. I don't know what engine this is made in, probably an in-house one, but I'm not sure. Like, if you're looking for an experience, play this game. I'll admit it, play it, play it yourself, have fun. It's just enjoyable. I know that's the opposite of watching a Let's Player. You're watching them so you don't have to play it, but I want to advocate that if you think this, like if you watched my Let's Play and got this far and you're watching it right now or found it and stumbled upon it here, I would recommend that you go and support these game, this game and the developer and all the people who worked on it. It's worth it because, it, well, why? You never know, Mountain Journey 3, why not? Do it. Roach Club, do it. Prove me wrong, Melon Journey 3. Even more very melon. That's what they call it. There was some really cool shit that happened in this. That, like, it was very unexpected. Like, like, like that whole sequence about where she was about to die on the mountain. And then we went like through near-death experiences and heat flashes and shit. It was very, again, can't compare things because it's not like that at all. And it probably isn't an on-purpose kind of ape at it. You know, but hey, Omori is big. I will just name drop and I did name drop before. But you know what else is big? Undertale Deltarune. Still waiting for episode three, Mr. Fox. Well, I know it's coming out three, four, five altogether, but Oh, wait. Yeah, I beat Undertale. I beat all the routes. I'm a sick fuck. Except, uh, I also beat all the routes in Deltarune, so I'm a sick fuck. Maybe it's because in video games I don't get too empathetic for the characters. <laughs> I mean, what was it in Devil's Island game? I, went, I was like, look, we're gonna murder that guy, and we're gonna murder him. <laughs> Professor, whatever, he's dead. <laughs> Not Professor Winston, that's not his name. And it wasn't Langston either, that's Putt-Putt. <laughs> getting weird. This whole tangent's getting weird. These credits are really long, but a lot of workers against, you know, like all different people for the different localizations and different adaptations. You gotta understand, this game's been in development for quite a while. I, I think I wishlisted a long time ago. Years, man, years. Hey, you guys did a pretty good job. I think I ran into two glitches that I don't know testers 
would have been able to pick up. And they're like minor glitches. Special thanks to all the following. Hey, Chickpea was a name in the game. And you. And Ku. And everybody else involved in watching the video. Thank you for watching. Um, oh shit, it's Ham Ghost Jr. Who? Me? Obviously not you. How are you always here to interrupt everything I do? You were straight up talking to me. What do you expect? I just can't... I just can't with you. I was talking about them. Right there. Huh? I don't see anyone. Wait, if I squint real hard, I guess I... Whoa! Have you been here this whole time? Oh god, I bet you saw me do the most embarrassing stuff. Like you're even that important. Anyways, thanks for you for playing the, our game. And yada yada, you know how it goes. Yeah, thank you for, for the back, from the bottom of our hearts. Now say goodbye to the nice people. Bye, catch you next time. Melon Journey 3. Thanks for playing. Everyone take a bow. Huh? Well, Douglas, it appears we've been thwarted again. It appears that way, sir. No matter. The Hogsworth boy played his part nicely. I couldn't have asked for a better performance. Yes, sir. But it is a shame, really. Oh, look on the bright side. Look on the bright side. That little charade brought us just enough time. Bought us just enough time. The special project. It's complete. You mean... That's right. Everything is all taken care of. It's not the first time I've started with nothing at all. No, not nothing. I have... Them. <gasps> the bittersweet truth. The super big melon. There's multiple prosthetic melons. Whoa! We did get the secret ending, everybody. <gasps> you son of a bitch. No, no! And this has been Melon Journey Bittersweet Memories, the Let's Play. Don't forget to subscribe, ring, comment, and also, why is my life suffering? I can't wait to see you guys in the next seven years when we play Melon Journey 3. The... <laughs> what would they call it? If this is bittersweet memories... Would it be the sour spicy truth? Or would it be the... Oh, is this title screen different? Like, I'm not like, like, I mean the people walking by. Basically, I will see you again for more Let's Plays that will obviously be happening. And more so over than that, if Melon Journey decides to have another sequel, I will be there to Let's Play it. You know it. I'm on board. You got me, Proach Club. I support this. I, I like your work. This is amazing. Thing, uh, very Melon. Melon clones? Yeah, no, the melons have... The, it was all about making a super honeydew cantaloupe hybrid. A cantadu, or a honey lope. Oh no, it's gonna be called honey lope, isn't it? Oh no. It's like clone her, it's like evil, super evil forces her. And you know, it's got psychic powers, why not? It was all, it was all ruse, ruse cruise. But yeah, this has been Kuin Pack, signing off.